Well, the installation of the trailer hitch appears to be pretty straightforward. We have a hole one, two, three, four holes there in the frame. This is the muffler side. And there's the bumper side. So, in theory, according to Hoyle, that hitch slides up over the frame. And we put the bolts in from the back side going that way and the nuts on the bumper side and that way you don't have to take the bumper cover off and the other thing that's good about that I suppose is if you did get hit in the rear and push this in those bolts might if they were going this way they might they shouldn't, but they might contact the muffler and cause more damage, so don't know about that. But we'll uh, stick it up in there and see how it fits. So we got the hitch up on there, and uh, you know, with these bolts, you kind of got to put them in on an angle like that. You get them in, uh, you notice that the holes are slotted here. So, and to be honest, let's see if I can get, there we go. The bolts are a little on the long side, but uh, they'll probably be all right. Uh, one thing that I notice here, though, is that there's some movement side to side because the holes are slotted, and I would say probably a good half inch. So, to be fair, I think before you tighten that up, you're going to want to make sure that this hitch is in the center of the frame rails at the very least. You'll get yourself a tape measure and measure from the frame rail over here to the hitch and the frame rail over there to the hitch and get her lined up uh, before you tighten the bolts. Right now, we'll just probably going to have to pull those bolts back a little bit hang the washer on there and uh, the nut so I'm a little surprised quite frankly that um, they didn't give you two sets of washers one for this side as well as one for the other side but they didn't if you wanted to put a washer in there on your own uh, there's plenty of thread on the bolt, a lot of, plenty of thread on the bolt there, so be my guest. So one thing you want to do is be careful of this wire harness that's up in here. Um, probably for your license plate lights or something. You don't want to uh, pinch that when you tighten those bolts up. And... Uh, <laughs> Might want to wear your safety glasses because eh, maybe you might drop one of those washers on your face trying to stick it up in there. What you do is pull the bolt back so it just sticks out a little bit and uh, stick the washer on there, hang it on there, and then feed the nut up there and get it started. Try maybe hold the nut in place and turn the bolt, get it started. So now what you need really is a uh, three-quarter inch wrench and a ratchet and socket and tighten the bolts up and they're supposed to be uh, 110 foot-pounds um, with a torque wrench yeah that's all good if you don't have a torque wrench uh, just use a long handle ratchet and tighten them up to your wrist hurts so we went ahead and uh, ordered the optional high water adapter and uh, got it installed as well so you know it's a 15 minute job and Bob's your uncle good to go